What's up everybody? Thanks again for checking back in with the channel. Today I'm gonna to walk you through my kayak trailer um, and how I've upfitted it to fit my my liking. Hopefully it'll kind of spark some ideas or some interest in, in kayak fishing for one of you or two of you or all of you. It helps somebody out along the way. I researched forever the right things to do or the wrong things to do and the truth is there wasn't and an answer a right or wrong answer how i wanted things dialed in and the way that uh i wanted to to do it so here we go it's a little chilly out i got a got a hoodie on but i still wear shorts because i wear shorts about 11 months out of the year uh, i digress so i got this little five by eight trailer when i bought it it was a five by eight trailer the fedex is pulling up through my grass that's cool kayak trailer modifications and how i did the things that I wanted to do. Bunks. These are four inch PVC pipe with four inch caps on the end with some boat carpet wrapped around and zip tied. And then I used some uh, U-bolts, um, which you can see if I go up under here a little better, they kind of come down and just hook to this uh, webbing or, or grate kind of hook to the trailer that way. I tried to glue the boat carpet down onto the PVC, but it, it kept coming up. So I just finally just zip tied it. Um, over here, I have a six inch PVC pipe with what's called a conduit kit on the, on the ends. And as you can see, I just kind of go throw some rods in there. Um, <clears throat> that too is bolted down to the, the kayak trailer. I actually sawed the back gate off of this thing um with a little grinder it, it just allowed for me to have a little less weight on it but also not have as much much stuff going on and then i didn't have to i didn't have to mess with it the only reason i, I use this trailer is for uh carrying a kayak you may find it uh easier to to keep the gate the back gate of it on um actually still have it over there so i got these cargo buckles uh from amazon these are like a, basically a seatbelt material with with a um, little hook and that goes across one, one end of the kayak. There's another one up here that goes across the other end of the kayak and they just hook on the other side of the trailer. And then at four, four little points across the top of the trailer, the top railing and stuff, I got these other smaller cargo buckles that are about an inch wide. They're on Amazon as well. I could, uh, these will be linked down in the description below. Next thing is this box that I got. This here is actually called a trailer tongue box and as I got it bolted down underneath some screws and bolts and stuff going down through the bottom. It's a little empty right now, but I keep a little extension cord for if I'm camping or whatever and need to charge up or something, I can pull up and just kind of do what I need to do. Uh, some extra rogue fishing stuff, a lifesaver, it's a little phone strap, locking cable, some straps. I usually keep my, my life jacket and a little toolbox and some stuff like that in there. Um, and it locks. This is actually burnt from where I uh, I put a hot pan down on there when I was camp camping. Then next up, I just have some like boat carpet just on various parts of the of the trailer just to kind of help with uh, with any kind of bumping or, or any of that stuff. So I think all in, I was less than $1,000 on everything. Um, you know, there's, tra there's trailers out there for one kayak, like single kayak trailers that are upwards of two and three and $4,000. Um, just depends on how much you, you wanna do to it. Um, son and I, like we just, we went through and like anything that was white, we painted black to kind of, I kind of like it in like stealth mode. Uh, we painted the wheels black and the pipe going down the little homemade rod holder. Um, I've taken this thing off and put it back on probably three or four times, various positions and whatnot. So, so that wraps it up. I hope that helps somebody. Um, comment and ask a question if you have one and I'd be glad to answer it. See if I can help you out in any way. Next time you guys see the kayak trailer, the new kayak from the new kayak sponsor will be on it. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.